Organizing your photos and using keyboard shortcuts are now gonna be even more effective than before. We have made major improvements to managing keyboard shortcuts. These improvements allow you to navigate between shortcuts better and in the future assign shortcuts to other functions. You can also specify exactly how keyboard shortcuts should behave in different modules and other contexts. Now let's take a look at the most important thing, setting up the keyboard shortcuts. Under my Zona Photo Studio X account, I'm gonna click Preferences or I can use the keyboard shortcut Control M. Then I'm gonna go to General and Keyboard Shortcuts. If I click Collapse All, you can see that the shortcuts are grouped based on where they appear in ZPSX. Now you can also see a filter bar where you can search by filter commands or filter keyboard shortcuts. Filter commands are the names of the functions. And if I click filter keyboard shortcuts and then press Ctrl C, it shows me exactly where this shortcut works and what it does. At first glance, you may also notice these check marks next to each shortcut. These tell you where each keyboard shortcut applies. These icons above the check marks next to the filter bar represent the locations. For example, the shortcut Shift F1 for opening the manager module applies everywhere except the viewer. If you hover next to the keyboard shortcut, you can add another shortcut for the same action. If you enter a key in the input field that's in use, like the K key, the following appears at the bottom. The keyboard shortcut cannot be added. It is used by another command, straighten lines. And here you can use the check marks to specify where you want the keyboard shortcut to work. Use the plus key to add a shortcut and the minus key to remove it. You can set the same key for multiple commands depending on the module you're working on. Or you can even use the option that one key works the same in multiple places. The new shortcut management system also brings a few minor changes to already existing shortcuts. For example, the Ctrl C and Ctrl V shortcuts are used slightly differently in the develop module than in the manager module. In Manager, you previously copied and pasted files, and in Develop, Adjustments. Now, this shortcut will also copy files in the Develop module. You'll notice another change when you press the Enter key. Previously, you could use the Escape key to switch from Preview to the browser, and if you wanted to close the photo as well. Now, you can't use Escape anymore, but only the Enter key. Pressing Enter takes you from the Preview to the browser and then back again. The option to search for photos using the first letter of the file name have been removed. This is to make all the keys available for keyboard shortcuts. Managing keyboard shortcuts is not the only update related to keyboard shortcuts. The tab keys functionality has been modified for improved switching between panels. You can also use the tab key in photo preview mode. If I press the tab in preview, the control switches to the left panel and I can use the up and down keys to scroll through the folders I have. And if I press tab again, I'm in the film strip and I can use the left and right arrow keys to view the photos. This means that I can now use the tab key to conveniently jump between searching folders in the left panel and viewing photos in preview mode, not just in the browser like it was up until now. And while we're on the topic of shortcuts, you probably already know that you can use the numbers on your keyboard to add star ratings to photos. Now on most keyboards or even international keyboards, you can now use the tilde or sometimes backtick key to reject a photo. This blocks it from further editing and once you're done sorting your photos, you can easily delete all your rejected photos at once by clicking on information in the top left menu, then rating and delete rejected. Now go set up your custom keyboard shortcuts to make your Zora Photo Studio X experience even better.